Okay, here we go, alignment styles. All right, and uh, this segment's going to focus uh, briefly on our object style, which is our alignment line, and mostly on our alignment labels. And uh, I know what you're thinking when you think about uh, label styles, you're thinking, wake up! We're going to make it interesting, okay? Don't worry. It won't be that painful. Now let's take a look at uh, uh, at our alignment. So if I go into my settings tab, everything uh, is is pretty much similar to what we are used to. For instance, I have the alignment style and my label style. So remember, the alignment style or the object style is how the actual object's going to look. And in this case, uh, my alignment style is this red center line. That's the alignment style. And if I select on it and uh, check out my alignment properties. Uh, we can see that that object style is called existing, right? That's the existing style that's currently set to that. And notice that uh, if I hold my mouse over top of that al uh, alignment, I get a little tooltip. It tells me the style there. So I can, I can go into that style and check out uh, the existing style that I'm using right now. And if I go into edit by right-clicking, uh, in my display tab, you can see there's the line, there's the curve, uh, this is the layer and the color that it's using, etc., etc. So pretty straightforward stuff. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated when we get into the labels, all right, because the labels in alignments are a little bit different. For instance, under surfaces, if I expand on label styles, I've got some different folders here for uh, different types of label styles. Same kind of thing happens under label styles for my alignment. So if I click label styles under my alignment section, same thing, but there's something slightly different here. This is what's called label sets. Label sets are groups of label styles all kind of put together in one section. And the reason why they're, they exist is because alignments can be quite complicated. For instance, we have all kinds of things that we can label on the alignment. We have the alignment station value itself. We have the ticks. We have uh, we can put all you know direction arrows and, and things like that. There's there's different things you can uh, add in there. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to have to apply all of these different things. For instance, do I want a station label, the station offset? How am I going to label that line, like with uh, directions and distances if I want, curve information along that alignment, spiral, etc., etc. So you don't want to have to apply each one of those styles to every time you create an alignment. So what we can do is create a label set which groups them all together, okay? So before I get into label sets, let's take a look at, say, a, a simple station label, which is uh, what we're seeing right here on our screen. That's the station label. I expand that out and that's a major station. I expand this out and I have a label style called parallel with tick. Okay, that's the one I'm using there because I see that little uh, yellow triangle. That's the one I'm using. If I double click on that, that brings up that style and I can take a look at uh, how it's laid out, change the text height, uh, the contents of it if I want, etc, etc. Right, so uh, this, the same thing goes for all these other different types of stations. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of different label styles just for the station, right? And you've got the same for things like lines, curves, spirals, and, and such. So what we can do, once we've decided on what type of labels we want to use, we can go into the label set and see what's in there. So right now there's an existing one called major and minor only. And if I... Uh, double click that, uh, I got a tab that says labels and here it says I'm labeling the major stations uh, using this style, parallel with tick. If I want to change it I can go ahead in here and change it to a different option. So I can go say perpendicular with line or perpendicular with tick. Pick whatever one you want and there's your stationing increment. So in my case I'm labeling every 20 meters if I wanted that every 50 meters or whatever you can change that and for my minor stations I'm applying a tick so I've got uh, a tick at every 10 meters okay and then I've got profile geometry points using a code and station style profile geometry points are once I create my profile shown on my alignment I don't think I want that there so if I want to change something in here you can just go ahead and hit that delete button and away it goes. If you wanted to add something you can add some some of the different uh, types of options through here and then uh, and so have you. So I click OK and there's my style. Now you're probably asking what if I want to change styles Rick? I've got a label set created 
and uh, I just want to I just want to switch out the label set on my existing alignment. That's very easy. All we have to do is just click our alignment, right click, and go into our alignment properties, and then check this out under uh, or sorry under alignment labels, edit alignment labels. Yeah, I apologize.